This video is about scheduling online, and we're going to use the Visita online scheduler. Go to the left hand side where it says pages, and you're going to find this in one of two places. You're going to find it in popular, or you're going to find this in business. Simply drag the Visita online scheduler into your website. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. But first of all, before you do anything, you're going to make sure you have a Visita account. This is the email it will go to, and here's your first and last name. Once you do that, you can continue on to the next part. You can change the icon, you can upload your own, you can change the color of your icon, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do that before I go any further. Okay, set an appointment. We'll go to design here. Well, let's look at our effects here. Do I want a shadow? And why not? Rounded corners. I'm more of a square guy myself. <laughs> Uh, show icon let's say yes let's go to text style here we'll pick the color of our text make it lighter so now we can set an appointment people could read that so it's very easy to touch and it doesn't confuse anyone you could go down to more and you can play around with the width of your button or the height you can also adjust the padding and the margin and you can also set the alignment of your button left or right just remember if your button's from side to side, you're not going to see much difference if you try to align it left or right. And if you have text near your element, you can have the text wrap around the button itself. But we don't have that happening. But you can also modify your CSS. So with all that being done, let's go back to general. Actually, let's go to design. In design, you'll see where it says show button. When I click on show button, and I turn it off, you'll see the online scheduler appear. Now, if you just have a button on there, then there's going to click a button and this will show. But if you don't want the button to show, and maybe you want a whole page, then you can make this happen by taking, uh, turning that off. Set an appointment. We're going to go over here to the top just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And as you see, the scheduler does appear, and you could pick, say, January 7th. Once I click on the 7th, then I could pick what time I want it to be. Hit continue. It's going to ask for your contact info. You're going to put in your email, your first name, your last name, any type of notes for whoever this appointment is going to, and then you hit submit. Now, I know it can't be blank, but I wanted to show you exactly what's going to happen. So you have a great choice here whether you want it to be in a small button or if you want it, say, to be up all over the page. It's your choice. This is really great for those who have, uh, who are mechanics, who have car shops, who are doctors, who are lawyers. This is a very, very, very good tool for that. Just remember, you do need a VC to account, but it's not that expensive, and it's very, very, very helpful.